Before people came here, Wellington was cloaked in forest. Massive podocarps, broadleaf trees, moa roaming around, kiwi everywhere, even huia singing from the treetops. We've lost a lot of that now, really just a, a, you know, tiny remnants remain. We can bring a lot of that stuff back. When New Zealand was first settled, it took years for people to fell our forests. Uh, the native bush went pretty quickly, and it's going to take generations to replace it, but it's already happening. Forest in the Heart of Wellington is a collaborative project that's been initiated by Rotary Club of Wellington to celebrate their centenary. 1968, uh, Roy McKenzie was the president of Wellington Rotary and he canvassed the local retailers uh, and also cajoled the council and particularly the engineers that trees in the heart of the city might be a good idea. This dates back to the 1960s, the trees behind me uh, were planted by Rotary. So Rotary's played a tremendous role in improving the biodiversity within our city. That continues uh, today and uh, in the last eight years they've made a massive effort to increase the number of trees they're planting particularly in Mount Victoria's town belt. 20 to 30 years ago, there was almost no bird life on Mount Victoria, and it's the native planting that's uh, helping ensure they come back. They're aiming to plant 15,000 trees a year, and that's going to require a huge effort. Conservation volunteers have really been the cornerstone of the, the, the day to day work. They turn up with their vests and their spades and they control the planting days, which is just absolutely fantastic. They are a fantastic team of younger individuals that are just absolutely passionate about making a difference to the environment. So we have volunteer days a, a few times a week for this project alone. Everything from site preparation, so clearing gorse and blackberry and whatever else might be on some of our planting sites, all the way through to planting the trees. But then when a tree is planted, it then needs to be maintained for about three to five years after it, so to make sure that the weeds won't grow up and totally smother the plants. Um, you know, just this nursery alone is quite a big effort. We've got about 5,000 plants in various stages of propagation here at our native plant nursery. We do everything from collecting the seed out in all the reserves around Wellington um, through to growing it to a full-size plant that's ready to be planted and will do well on its own. The connection actually came through Wellington City Council a few years ago. Tim Park actually mentioned to us that we should talk to Rotary, that they had this idea to bring the total number of trees planted by Rotary in Wellington Central to 100,000 by 2021. Billion Trees Fund has really helped to ramp up the project. We were struggling to find funding and one of the Rotary members came across the Matariki Turaco Fund. It just seemed like a really clear fit for us. From the very start, Wellington City Council has provided a ton of advice and expertise, helping us find sites that can be planted. Wellington City Council Nursery provides several thousand plants for the project each year, and the site prep that Wellington City Council crews put into getting the sites ready for planting um, has been really valuable as well. When this project's complete, it'll be a self-sustaining native forest. It'll be teeming with native birds. Geckos and other lizards will be scuttling about, but also be quite a few people walking past because they'll know it's a great spot to come for a walk and just connect with nature. By 2050 we'll see a huge abundance of that. We'll see larger canopy, even more birds, uh, a stronger connection back to the environment. I think success is like the full grown trees on Lambton Key. Uh, this is um, Mount Victoria has a thriving native forest. The 100,000 is the, the first goal. Rotary doesn't stop. At 100,000, somebody will come along, probably not us, but the next team will say, let's set a goal for 150 over the next 10 years. For me personally, success for this project is getting lots of Wellingtonians involved. You know, by spending a day volunteering in the town belt, you really build a sense of guardianship and you really want to see all this effort that you put in um, and make sure that it flourishes. We're right in the middle of where a lot of people live. And so part of the project is inviting those people in to connect with nature and become part of the place. We have big public planting days coming up for our Forest at the Heart of Wellington project on Saturdays once a month from now until mid-September. We provide all the training and all the tools that anyone would need, so we really do try to make it as easy as possible for absolutely everyone. Jump onto the website and uh, register your interest. Yeah, come along, you never know who you might meet and there's usually a pretty sweet morning tea. Yeah, just the satisfaction of a job well done is always really satisfying too.